The IS-3 is like Truck Norris, it's almost unstoppable. It has a powerful gun. It has thick armor all round. You need skills, if you want to take it down on your own. In today's video, you will learn how to be effective against it. We'll take a look at how we can damage and kill it, the fastest way possible. Yes, you can kill an IS-3, even in a tier 5 tank. But you can almost never attack it from the front, even with APCR. Even though your APCR penetration values exceeds the hull armor value of the IS-3, the sloped armor in the front will add move value to its effectiveness. As you see, although the IS-3 has only 110mm thickness, its effective value is 186 to 208 millimeters, and on its extra tracks, it exceeds 225 millimeters. This means you need ammunition that exceeds 200 millimeters penetration to reliably damage the front on an IS-3. So, in conclusion, don't waste your time and take unnecessary risks. Instead, you must try to shoot it in the sides. The best time to do this is when the IS-3 is preoccupied with other enemies. Pop out of cover to shoot it when he is in between reloads. Shoot only below the tracks and above the bottom wheels. You don't even need APCR to shoot this weak spots. However, you must shoot the target with its side facing you square. If you attempt to shoot it at an angle, it will create greater effective armor, and your shots will most likely bounce. The back is the weakest, if you didn't already know. 99% of tanks have the weakest point here. You can do more damage here if you load HE shells, providing your HE shells have a penetration value that can overmatch the rear armor of the IS-3. In this case, the T-25 HE shells have a 38mm penetration value, and the IS-3 has a 60mm rear armor. This means I cannot damage it with HE. If the front is all you have to shoot at, then you must try to shoot the top of the gun manlet, and the commander's cupola, the only two weak spots you can damage from the front. It's not easy to hit these targets, especially when they're in motion. But at least you do have a slim chance. Even a tier 6 Cromwell cannot penetrate with AP shells, because the effective armor is 200mm thick with the 57 degrees angle of the front nose. And even with the 202mm penetration of APCR shells, you will not penetrate the top plate of the IS-3 80% of the time. However, the lower plate is only angled at 51 degrees, making the effective armor 179mm thick. This means the Cromwell's APCR will go through it. The top plate has a few spots you can penetrate, but not often enough to make it a reliable target. From the three quarters angle, this is the best spot to shoot it, with the armor only at 166 millimeters, you can easily overmatch it with APCR. From the side angle, shoot at the orange areas below the track. The armor there is at the weakest, only 90 millimeters thick. However, above the tracks, there is 30mm of spaced armor, and add that to the 90mm hull armor, you have over 190mm that even some tier 8 tanks struggle to penetrate. So, don't even bother even switching to APCR, the 208mm penetration of the comet cannot go through the sides. With auto-aim, you might have a 60% success rate of penetrating the IS-3. This is because the auto-aim system targets the center of the tank, and almost exactly right where the spaced armor is. When you use auto-aim, it will benefit the IS-3 player more than it will benefit you. Now I will switch to lower penetrating AP shells, and use manual aiming, and you will see this is more effective than the APCR shells with auto aim. I will shoot a few in third person mode. Enemy armor is hit. We didn't even scratch them. Enemy is hit. 
Now I will tap to scope mode when I shoot, to try to be a little more accurate. This will give me about 80% rate of penetration. And remember, these are harder to pen, AP shells that I'm using to illustrate my point. I'm human, and sometimes, my shooting sucks too. Here's a typical encounter with an IS-3, side scraping around a corner. You only have a few options to shoot at, the three quarters armor plate, the commander's capola, and the top of the gun. These are the only three spots you can shoot at with either AP, or APCR. Of course it is much harder with AP shells, but not impossible. I edited out a bunch of missed shots. You must also take into account that the enemy won't often stay still, like you see here. After switching to the APCR shells, this exercise becomes a lot easier. The higher penetration improves our success rate by at least 30%. If we were in regular tier 8 tanks, I'm sure we can improve that success rate even more. Hope you've enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.